Richmond people in Washington County have reached out to us and say that they can't believe it was my son because of what a loving person he was. Tonight, we're hearing from the family of a teenager who was shot and killed in Hillsboro. 17-year-old Adrian Bucio Rodriguez was gunned down Friday night. No arrests have been made. Jenny Young, live on the story tonight. I know Jenny, his family told you they want answers here. That's right, Jeff. You can just imagine how devastating this is for his family, especially his mother. And tonight we're in front of a vigil that was actually started last night and more people um, have been coming out here. Even tonight, there are dozens of candles lit, dozens of bouquets of flowers and balloons. Adrian's family tells me there was even more yesterday. They had to take some home because it was growing to be too big. Now, one thing that they told us, there are rumors that this was gang related and police have asked Adrian's family what gang he was affiliated with. His mom, his grandmother and his aunt say that he was absolutely not in a gang, and that he was a good kid. I thought they were in the room. I thought they had went to his room. And then when I got the phone call from his father saying that he heard that Adrian got shot, I ran to his room <laughs> to look for him. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. Veronica Montoya Rodriguez is living every mother's worst nightmare. Everybody from elementary everybody. school to church to everywhere has been reaching out and saying that they're so sorry because they never in a million years would have thought that it would have been my son because of how he was. He just had such a good heart. Her son, 17 year old Adrian Bucio Rodriguez, a junior at Liberty High School and a hard worker, according to his family, was shot to death in Northeast Hillsboro on Friday. Police say it happened around 9:30 near 17th Avenue and Barberry Drive. Officers said another person was injured and taken to the hospital, but that's pretty much all the police department is saying right now. We pray every day that they have fight it in their hearts to act like if it was their old son. And we pray every day that this is hopefully not the case where they are seeing him as just a Latino kid who they think is a gang rebiliated. Veronica said she and Adrian planned on watching a movie Friday night, but instead one of his friends came over. The two teenagers went into Adrian's room and that's the last time she saw him. Adrian's grandmother and aunt tell us he was a great kid who made life better for those who were fortunate enough to have known him. He was always a really, really good kid. He was very right? well mannered, yeah. very yeah. respectful, was the first one to say hi to any adult, any person who was the first one to go up to you and greet you and make sure that you felt welcome and loved in any situation. He was the most loving, most welcoming, the kindest soul you would have ever met. When I, when I asked what Adrian wanted to do after high school, they told me that all he ever talked about was taking care of his mom and his younger brother, Isaac. Now I have reached out again to Hillsborough Police to see if they are going to release any more information about this investigation. Now we'll let you know when we hear back from them. There is a GoFundMe page that's been set up for the family to help out with expenses during this time. If you want to help out with that, we've posted the link on coin.com. Reporting live tonight in Hillsborough, Jenny Young, Coin6 News. All right, Jenny, we appreciate his family opening up to us during a difficult time.